Welcome back, <clears throat> excuse me, TOL family, for yet another video. Excuse this voice of mine, but I'm trying to work hard even through this cold, guys, so bear with me. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate the love, appreciate the time. You guys could have been anywhere else in the world, but you chose to spend a little bit of that time with us, and we love and appreciate you for it. Thank you so much. Please take the time to follow us on Twitch, if you haven't already. If you're watching this on YouTube, Please take the time to like the videos as well as subscribe to the channel. I want to first say thank you to everybody that has already done so. Appreciate the love, guys. It's not hard and it's it's not easy in this space. Not hard. It's not easy in this space. It takes time to build a community. And it's impossible to do it without each and every one of you guys. So I want to appreciate the people that have already taken the time to follow us on Twitch and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. We got a crazy goal on Twitch. We're trying to get to 100 subscribers by the end of June. I know it's a crazy goal. Maybe a maddening goal, but it's our goal, and we're going to try to get there. Once again, thank you to everybody that's already helped us. So please, if you haven't already, please hit that follow button. Help us out. Help us continue to build this community. We're trying to get to 50 on the side of YouTube. It's even harder to build a community in that space, so once again, thank you for everybody that's already done so, and if you haven't, Please take the time to go over there and check us out. We got over 300 videos uploaded on the YouTube side for various games that we've played. We want to continue to do so. We want to continue to build this community. We want to continue to add more content creators. If you are, if you live in the Aspirin, Virginia area or anywhere around those parts and you would like to get into creating content, come on over to us. We will provide the game. We have all the equipment. And you can stream for free as long as you're streaming for our channel. And we will still provide you a copy of the content for your own channel. So, like I said, if you live in them around this area, go ahead and uh, jump in there. We're trying to build a team of content creators. We're trying to do something a little bit different, y'all. So, anyway, thanks again to everybody who's already done so. If you haven't, please do so. And without further ado, let's get active, y'all. Let's have some fun. So I had to abruptly stop last time. I had some things I needed to do. So we're in here with, I think his name is Renfield. He's a bit of an asshole. Uh, so far, so good. Charming. Uh, and now we got a, uh, we've already gone through the initial part, fought a bunch of goblins. Now we're down here. We're getting close to our goal. Oh, uh, I was trying to open up the map, but it won't let me. So it looks like a lot of things are dead down here. How fitting. Oh, shit. I really hate spiders, man. I'm talking about to the point where even playing the game, I hate them. So. Man, I burned one behind me. Haha. <laughs> I didn't even see that one. Oh, shit. I mean, a lot of these jokers. He jumped twice. What's up? Get out of here. Oh, shit. Hey. Is that a big one? Oh, okay, yeah. I thought he looked bigger than the other ones when he was behind me. I couldn't really see him yet, though. Why do you, oh my god. That's not what I'm trying to do, man. What's up? Where is that joker? Are you running around a damn... Oh, shit! Did he 
dodge that? Where'd he go? Oh, damn. Yeah, where'd he go? I'm sure what I did to deserve that. Oh, wow. I must have blown his ass to smithereens. I didn't even realize he was gone. I hate spiders. Real life arachnophobia here, just in case y'all didn't think that was a real thing. I freaking hate them. Almost as good as if I'd done it myself. Whoa, what are we doing? What happened? Oh. What was that? Really? Alrighty. All that way just for a little bit of coin? Incendium. <laughs> Excuse me. One nudge and that chest might have fallen. Oh, I think three nudges at least. What is that? What is that? Oh shit. Oh bastard. Where'd he go? There he is. There's an ass over here. Really? What happened? Oh. That was different. Oh, you know how I did that. Oh, what happened there? Alright. Uh. These spiders are determined to make a meal of us. I'm sure we taste better than a goblin dinner. There's some more spiders. God, I hate spiders, yo. A staircase leading here. Whatever for? I don't think anyone's been here for ages. Ew. Did spiders fall out of that thing? Well, we'll be doing that anymore. Like, no, seriously, I I, I freaking hate spiders. Like Incendio! Like, I can't be in a room with a spider. If a spider is in the room, I cannot be in that room until that spider is gone. I remember when I was a apprentice electrician, and I remember going out on site, and 
the the foreman on the site was like yeah we need you to jump down in this uh they had like these long tunnels the hell am i going here we, they had these long tunnels and, and we had to pull caber in another barrier we can blast through it i'm certain we had to pull cables through the tunnel oh okay Bombarda. and um you know so we had to go down there we had to run pipe and then <laughs> pause and then um and then um uh, after we ran the pipe run cabling through the pipe so we could you know run some electricity or whatever and i remember uh i remember i went down there with the mechanic i was working with because i was still an apprentice i couldn't do it by myself look at this place not really my style a bit much if you ask me and um as soon as i got down it was like super dark down there because you know there was no lighting at the time so i go down there and everything and as soon as i turn on some light Incent. Incent. god damn it as soon as i turn on the light oh um, there was nothing but spider webs down there i'm talking about so many spider webs that you couldn't even see the other end of the tunnel and i remember i jumped out of there so damn fast <laughs> I climbed right back up that ladder so quick, man. And my uh, my mechanic, he couldn't do nothing but laugh. He said, are you serious, man? You that scared of spiders? I said, yep. I got the hell out of there. He's like, I don't know if I can work with you. I said, well, that's going to be. I don't mess around with spiders. Like these, even these freaking spiders on the game like i hate looking at them they look nasty i freaking hate ah shit oh some bullshit how'd i miss that Nothing to his big ass. Did I just hit that little ass spider? When I was trying to hit the big spider. Man, I'm about to die. What the hell? Oh, That's on me. That's on me. I messed up early on in that. I didn't know it was going to keep on coming. And I just... I took him too lightly. Alright. Look at this place. Not really my style. A bit much, if you ask me. Incendio. Let's take these things out this time. Back above me. Oh shit.
incendio. Challenge. Perhaps we should search for runes. Yeah, I wasn't gonna let them get the best of me that time. I um, like I said, I messed around, and <clears throat> I didn't expect that many to come out because like that many didn't come out the times before. So I just kind of took it lightly, and yeah, I suffered because of it. So finding these chests, luck or instinct. But we good now. Hey, I take it. The good thing is I didn't have to use the other one, so that one they gave me gives me two. All right, should we pick it? Oh shoot! Make sure we get all these gems, whatever they are. Little fangs. Alright, let's get up here and see what they got for us. Really? Nothing? Oh. I'd imagine we need to find all three. Alright. So that's one, two. Oh, there we go. I can't get out of here quick enough. There you go. Pause that if you guys want to read it. We're going to keep on keeping on. Uh, Sebastian, a journal entry. Ooh, two of them. Why couldn't she have kept all her journal entries? I mean, shit about to hit the fan too, though, so I don't know why I'm getting all excited. Oh my god. Hey, big fella. Troll! Troll! Oh shit. Damn, I didn't even see that joint. That's terrible. Reflect. I had the reflex of a damn dinosaur and shit. Shit just hit me. I ain't even notice it. Not sure what I did. Bring Wham! Bring enjoy, enjoy. Whoa! You know he's here too, buddy. Whoa! Alrighty. Damn! And he bit me. Incendium. Out of here, spiders. Oh, 
I need those. Thank you. Bombada. Damn! How fucking far can he hit? We gotta get rid of these spiders. Play around with it. Oh, my God, yo. Come on, man. What's going on with the controls? Don't bug it right now, man. I dodged that, yo. That's why it didn't kill me. goodness it's, it's not like for a second there man things would got kind of crazy Man, for a second there, I just could not control um, my guy. <laughs> I 
What the hell hit me? Wow, I am getting fucked up. <laughs> Throwing everything at this motherfucker. Far he reached for that. Like an angry troll to bring friends together. Man, that was crazy.
That troll certainly made a mess of things. Debris everywhere. Sorry, people. second yeah. I think there's a path up there. All right, sorry about that. Had to blow my nose. Oh. I do apologize. Was there something over here? Why is that glowing when I You see how it was glowing a second ago? See, look. What is that? Anyway. It almost it's almost like if I I can shoot it it'll blow up. Like you see how it's like highlighted now? Can I Can I blow that up? Huh. Okay. Am I supposed to go this way? No, that's the way I came. So it's gotta be over here. So that. Try mending the stairs. Repairo should work. Oh, Repairo. We must remain what? Unseen. That was stupid. That was a piece of work. More than one. We couldn't jump high enough to reach that ledge if we tried. We need something sturdy to stand on. Did you find something? Yes, I found something. A journal entry. Uh, okay. Was here. Leviosa. Whoops. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Come on, climb that thing, boy. There we go. Get up. Hell you. All right. Here 
Yeah, we needed that. That was all three potions? Oh, no, some of it was money. We needed that. We had Nathan. <laughs> I'm out of breath after all of those stairs. Yeah, right. You, well worth it. What do you? The hell view he talking about? What the bats? The hell he talking about? Ain't no view. Need to get out more, buddy. Uh. I wonder. Probably nothing. No, there's nothing to fix there. All right. What's on this side? Ah. Is there another one of those things here? I see two. I see two of those things I have to hit. One, two. <coughs> Excuse me. One, two. Oh, one, two. Oh, one, two. Where is the third one? It's always three. There's gotta be a throwing right here somewhere. Another barrier. We can blast through it, I'm certain. This can't be a dead end. Must be another floor above us. Good news? This journal entry sounds worrisome. Huh. The hell is that? What if I was supposed to light that up? Couldn't bring them! Aha! No. All right. That didn't really do much for me. I'm not sure what I did to deserve that. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't see the other. Where the hell is the third one? It's got to be on this side because the, the one is on that side. So I know there's one on this side. That only makes sense. Uh, oh, can I fall? Oh, yes, I can. I mean, do y'all see it? I don't see it. I don't see another one. But there's got to be a third one. Maybe it's, maybe I have to go up first? No. I guess so, could be. Huh. <laughs> Let's go up here one more time, just to see if there's a way up. as if I'd done it myself. All right, so... This place can't have belonged to only Isadora. Oh, man, got... It pointed us here. Oh, man, got no skills to hop. There's one. It's got to be where it's like you can't see it. <clears throat> <All right. clears throat> it's not there. 
Uh, another rune symbol. Feel as if I should be fluent in runic language by now. There it is. Bobada. Not sure what I did to deserve that. Are you so bitch? <coughs> Run for us. <coughs> Isadora must have honed her skill with ancient magic here. Huh. They said a ridiculous name. All right. I know from the memory plot. Scene that the keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. I wish you could see one of her memories. Alright, let's see here. Jesus, this is a long um little mission. Final canvas piece to the triptych. Ooh. We've done it. Isadora should not have had to keep all this secret. I know from the memories I've seen that the keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. But I don't understand why she seems to have gone to such great lengths to tell her story without their knowledge. I wish you could see one of her memories. So do I. Perhaps completing the triptych will shed more light on all of this. Is it me or did they say that before I even picked up that scroll? I'm actually have enough money to get the the uh, updated broom. That's it. Let's go back to the. The Undercroft. I do not believe the journey this triptych took us on. You ain't lying. One hell of a journey. This is it. Don't keep me in suspense. Go on, place it. I gotta take that mask off. This looks so terrible. Another pensive. This is what we've been chasing. I wonder. What is it? Let's find out. Peace. The hell is that? That dude showed no emotion right there. Like, is he already? Did she already give him peace? Isadora, <laughs> we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I have something to show you. Father, these are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain.
Yes, sir. <clears throat> Have you done? I took his pain. Thank you. That worked? It did indeed. Of course it did. It's cobble and silver. I need something much bigger. All right. It would help if you could tell me more about what it is you're storing. Magic. Left over from a spell I devised to remove pain, but if used correctly, its power can be used to do even more good. Why would you want to store such magic away? I only need to keep it safe until I can convince my colleagues of its worth. Magic like this unnerves them. Oh, everyone's ready to wield such power. Perhaps not. But someone will be. <sighs> she took away the pain. I knew it. I knew there was a way to help Anne. Something isn't right, Sebastian. What do you mean? You saw what she did. No, not the memories, the portrait. I, I think the reason Isadora hasn't appeared is because she can't. I don't follow. We have seen that view before. The abandoned home in Felgroff, the destroyed painting. It was her. So someone destroyed a bit of enchanted canvas, but we found the memory. Yes. Yes, you <laughs> We saw what she wanted us to see. We saw what she could do, what you can do. But I don't know how to do what Isadora did. Well, then you shall learn. The Keepers can teach you. I'm not sure that they would. The Keepers believe that removing someone's ability to feel pain, it, it's a highly complicated, unpredictable form of magic. One that should be wielded with great care. If at all. If at all? You've overcome all of their challenges. You've more than proven yourself. You can wield it. You have the ability. Please, talk to the Keepers. If not for me, then, then for Anne. destroy her portrait. Let's just see what, <clears throat> how far along in that quest we've gone. Okay, so we met him. So it looks like, speak with Sebastian. I'm already with Sebastian, so. I should ask Natty how, you know, since I helped her and Mr. Can't escape. Yes, All right. Do I have to... Isn't this Sebastian right here? Who is that dude? I always forget his name. That's Sebastian, right? I found one of Randrock's drills in a mine along the shore. I intend to destroy it. I'm tired of trying to reason with him. You're welcome to join me. But if I don't see you there, I will reach out when I return. I have something to give you. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the scriptorium. 
He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. I know we had to do it to open the scriptorium, but it's not something I'd want to repeat. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. I'm starting to wonder if, uh, Sebastian's gonna end up being... I see no reason to involve Ominous. I'm glad you agree. The final antagonist in this. Spend an hour. If he'll, like, side with the, uh... Sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to Excuse me, um... For his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous. We were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I <laughs> no, I didn't. I you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. Not letting this go. Dang, he just walked over there and broke something. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I know what I heard. <laughs> you knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. Wow. Poor Anne and Sebastian. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I can't lose Sebastian, too. Please avoid anything to do with that spell book. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further. But if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot. Oh, <clears throat> well, alrighty then. Alright. Let's see something here. Uh, what is this? I didn't mean to do that. What is this? Where is this? See if it's in the castle somewhere. Where is she? Like... How do you get out of here? So we gotta, let's find Natty really quick. What is that? Huh. If only a new student were to help me with my sad predicament. Figure it out, girl. see where we are see how yeah I had a feeling it was gonna be like some other part of the castle they always do stuff like that oh it's only a couple steps then you start walking and it's like oh we forgot to mention it it's in another city what in Merlin's name were you thinking ah I have been meaning ah shit do you realize what kind of reputation Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> ah, you bastard.
I don't know how many of those things I have. Or if it, if they even keep count. Because I have never seen, like, ah, where I it says, you have 12 of these tokens. We escaped the Ashwinders. You may not do <laughs> Every time he says that, it sounds like something else. School since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors and <laughs> news travels quickly. Unfortunately, she might, in fact, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. If she knew more about what you've done, I suspect she'd be proud. If she knew any more about what I've done, she would never let me out of her sight again. I'm sorry. Has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. Halo is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Officer Singer. If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabililand, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Your father was also an Animagus, I take it? He could become the most majestic giraffe, and he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them, and then he was gone. <sighs> and it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. <clears throat> Do you think your father would approve of the things we've been doing? Oh my, that is a good question. In theory, yes. Although he would worry as my mother does. But I think he, of all people, would understand my persistence. My father never shied away from a fight for good, no matter how ruthless the foe. And I think he would have enjoyed knowing that I had a compatriot like you. What does your mother think about all of this? Well, as you saw, she worries a great deal. She is an excellent seer, but I think it bothers her to this day that she did not see my father's death coming. She misses him, as do I. So I believe on some level she understands my need to seek justice in a small way, but that does not mean that she likes it. <clears throat> Excuse me. The will avenge your father's death. No. Vengeance is not what drives me. My father would not want that. He, and my mother, raised me to believe that it is a privilege to be able to fight for those who cannot. I know there is risk involved, but I feel it is worth it. <laughs> I am glad you seem to think so, too. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making progress, and we will succeed. Thank you again for saving me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. Boom. Alright, guys. Whoops. <laughs> Be doing all kinds of stuff. Potato! Yeah, had to do my potato. Alright, uh let's see something here. Let's see what where that leaves us as far as quests. So it looks like we have to go to this guy. We'll make that the next one. We gotta meet him at the entrance of the mine. 
We keep having to go back to that mine. That mine is just like, it won't leave. Where is the mine? Uh, world map. Ooh. How's this the world map and I can't like, oh, there we go. Jeez, uh, all the way down here? How did I not, I could have sworn I lit a lantern. How did I not light this lantern? Jeez. How did I miss all these lanterns? Uh, I guess we'll just we'll we'll go here and maybe try to light some along the way. Travel broadens the mind. Just gonna how we missed all those lanterns. Let's see here. Uh there's like one right next to us. Don't know how we missed that. There's a tomb. What? How did that happen? Oh, that lantern's down here. Even though I still, we should still be able to see it, but whatever. And let's do a quick fly before we depart. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see here. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to light this lantern. Maybe take out those bandits. Awesome. I thought we took the bandits out of that little building right there. Not sure why they're back. You know the lanterns. Oh yeah, it is out here. I was thinking it's gonna be inside the castle. I don't like the looks of that encampment. What's going on with all these people? Dark arts. Betting on the dragon fights was the best decision I've made. I'm sure it'll be hard at the gun. Marvelous strike! He? Gabe came in, gave him a little what for, and then left. How unfortunate for him running home! Shall we finish what we started? Oh, you can see me? Why can't you see me? There we go. Get rid of that one. Seems I can get up. I had to give him the wet fur. Damn. Don't you turn around. Oh, Mr. Dallas. Like that. Society. I have a few favorite hunting spots. Oh shit! Tree, out of the way, tree. Let me Bro, if you don't get your ass down here. Oh 
shit. <clears throat> oh no! Yep, <clears throat> that was pretty bad. Marvelous oh, why can't I lift that dude up? Over here, I'm about sick of you. And it's getting worse. If there's any chance that the relic from Slytherin. I thought I used. I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the catacomb. Would you please meet with me in the Great Hall? Damn. I, I want to meet with somebody. Be where I'm at. Leave me alone. All right, let's light some of these lanterns so we can make it easier later. Where's that lantern? Whoop. About to pass it. There we go. Alright. Alrighty. Uh. Hey, big guy. Let's get here and then we'll take a break. Mush. How much money do I have? Oh, we got enough to get the broomstick, the uh, updated broom. Let's go over here. So we can fly just a little bit faster. Oh, come on. Let me fly. Why is it acting like, oh, never mind. A day.
need to get that V8 broomstick. I got that V. I got this V6 broomstick. What? Where is he? Oh. These guys are so stupid. I could do this to one. Do that to one. You big dummy. The hell was that? Oh, that's a ogre over here somewhere. All right. Look at that Joker. I didn't even see him. Heard him, but I didn't see him. Uh. All right. All right, guys. We are here. And we got to go past the ogre. So we are going to stop it right here in a safe place. I just want to see that big Joker. Whoa. Stop right here, take a break. Flip a troll club into his face. This time I'm gonna make you two enemies airborne. Thanks so much for watching, man. I appreciate the love, man. You guys could have been anywhere else in the world, but you chose to spend a little bit of that time with us. And we love you and appreciate you for it. If you haven't already, please take the time to follow us on Twitch. If you are watching this on YouTube, take a second to hit that like button as well as the subscribe button. Help us out. Help us continue to build this community, y'all. Thanks so much for everybody that's already done so. Much love to everybody, even the ones that haven't subscribed. <laughs> anyway, I'm just joking. Uh, much love to everybody, though. And until next time, I'm out.